All right, hello. Hi. Haven't seen you in four days or so. Haven't seen you in a while. Chat immediately forgives him after chanting kill for five minutes straight. You guys were- what were you guys doing chanting kill? What's wrong with you guys? You guys need to relax. By the way, yeah, this game has mostly negative reviews on Steam. I don't- well, I don't- I just- I, We were in pre-stream and I was like, you know what, fine, I'll, what, how about Mythbusters? This is a mostly negative game. Is it gonna be- is it that bad? I don't think so. Well, let's check it out. Alright, let's go. Here it is. And, uh, snap my fingers. Snap! There I am, too. Hope I wasn't naked in that frame, but whatever. I don't care. Welcome to Mythbusters the Game. Soon you'll be able to play the role of a real Mythbuster. Each myth will have its own unique gameplay mechanics, which you will encounter during the finalization and testing of the experiment. Have fun. Let's go. Okay, go to the, the myth board in order to choose a myth. Not a whole lot going on here. That's like we we got one. It's our it put it on stick it on the wall. We're about to make our first forty dollars. Okay, heroes gambit. Action movie heroes tend to find ways to survive a grenade blast within seconds. Is it possible to survive a grenade explosion by covering it with an object and hiding behind a suitable cover, a bucket, uh, a barrel, or maybe a wooden box? Uh, what will be the best way to stop the explosion? <laughs> Why are we jumping on <laughs> grenade? Oh, welcome to Mythbusters, man! First myth of the day! <laughs> Gary's gonna jump on a grenade! And fucking explode! And we'll see how many- uh, what, 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 What's the point of this? There's gonna be one episode of this show. How to survive a grenade? <laughs> it's called... <laughs> Pick it up off the fucking ground and throw it back! What's this, how's that? Okay, test the firepower of a grenade. <laughs> what is going on? Wait, I, hold on. My brain is confused. Test the firepower of a grenade. Save the mock-up from a, from destruction. All right. Um. Click and drag to throw the ball. Did I just drop? Did I just drop it on my leg? What happened? This is a long cook time on this grenade. Determine the area percentage. Click within a body. Fill it. What? What happened? <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> I don't understand what's happening. What's happening? Uh, what does it want me to do? Are you sure? I have, I don't know what it's asking. Read the number on the right. Fill 36%. I mean, this is like 36. Okay. Oh, all right. I get it. I get it. Okay. Wait. Oh, we're making the grenade. I get it. All right. Oh, this is easy. I get it. Oh, my God. I, just, I don't like this. Okay, we need to move. Oh, my. What? I thought I was going to be playing with. I thought I was going to be playing. Whatever. You know what I'm trying to say. Solve the equation by moving this specified number of sticks. <laughs> oh, fuck. I don't think they did this on the show. Um, What's the answer? I don't even care. Seven times two. All right. Seven times two. How do I do that? No. Oh. All right, we made the grenade. All right, I made the grenade. I got it. <laughs> it's, oh, it just blows up in my hands. Shooting range. Oh, okay. Throw the grenade. Yeah, whatever, whatever. I don't, I don't fucking care. Let's go. Let's go to the, let's go to the fun part where I can experiment. Look, I just want to be the fucking celebrity that walks on, and just has the safety goggles and is like, ha ha ha. That's what all my lines. I don't do anything. I have my own air conditioned trailer. What are the two songs playing? Mount a grenade to mount a grenade. Piso fuse by holding down. I would not want to be in this room. Okay, choose wrench. <laughs> you bet your ass I'm trying to throw it. <laughs> I can't throw it. Assemble the saw. <laughs> I think that I just have to get this stuff ready, right? Okay, the machine's ready to work. So what do I do now? <laughs> don't lie down. Under, don't like put your neck under here. All right, I'm ready to work. That's not good. Get me out of this. Go to the big workshop and make 
a mock-up. Oh, all right, here we go. Test mock-up. I don't want to. I I just. I'll be honest. I just didn't want to read any of that. I didn't want to read any of it. Any of it. I didn't read a sentence. We. What the fuck am I making? What is this? I'm making a shitty mailbox for like my second grade class. Oh, you bet your ass if I was on this episode, I would be like, yeah, let me do it. I'd be like hitting it with the hammer and I would hit it hard and put, pretend my thumb got hit and go like, no, oh, and put like it in my mouth and shit. What am I doing? Why? What am I doing with this? Okay, put it on the truck. Okay, head to the shooting range. How? Oh, okay. Well, we didn't really need to bring the whole truck for this. I gotta put this in the back of somebody's car. We didn't need to bring the truck for one item. Where is it? Where's my uh, cardboard cutout? Take the test mock up to the safe zone. Where is it? I loaded it in the truck. What happened? It escaped. Who do you think drove you there? <laughs> That's funny. Where is he? He that guy didn't want to die. What? Where is he? I think I have. I think it's fucked up. I think it's screwed up. I think I have to restart it. I, I won't laugh. You laugh, you lose. If I laugh, I have to turn the stream off. I turned the music down. This doesn't count. This doesn't count. The music is at fucking zero percent. Oh. Wow. Whoa. Balloon chair. All right, I'm doing balloon chair and then I'm never playing this game again. Pork? Wait, why, do I, why am I getting pork for? Is, is the Mythbuster to make, uh, like a, a pork chop sandwich for somebody? 20%. And then 80% water. Like that, right? We good? Ooh, dude, fucking science. Ballistic gel hand? Oh, dude, science! Dude, we have a ballistic gel hand? Dude, that's only possible with freaking science. Science actually is pretty cool. It is, it's fun. Look, I will take science over math. I will take science over social studies. I will take science over English class every single time, no matter what, every time. I would have liked school a lot more if it was like 40% science class, like 20% gym, and then 40%, no. All right, 30% science, 20% gym, 20% lunch, and then, like, 30%, uh, like, who invented stuff? Like, inventors 101. Like, oh, we learn about, like, every invention that ever was invented and who made it and what their patents are and shit. Kind of fucking cool, don't you think? Oh, and what credit score is. And how to write a check and how what, like, taxes are. Would have been kind of nice if they told us that. You know, just saying. You know why I, okay, I don't, I don't know how to change a tire either. Very, very important Thing to know because I could know and I could learn but I know I would screw it up I would screw it up and my fear of knowing that when I put that tire on I'm gonna get back on the fucking highway and my car is going to flip over like GTA no somebody that knows what they're doing has to do that not me I just have this crazy fear oh yo man no you're fine just pop the hood and uh unconnect this and then take that out and put this back in my car is gonna explode if I do it I will put everything and I'll follow the YouTube tutorial instructions or whatever and I'll be like, okay, pause the video, rewind 10 seconds, watch it again to make sure I'm doing exactly what that guy just did, verbatim with his hands. Okay, done. When I close the lid to the engine, the car is going to explode the second that it latches in the front. I can't, I just can't do it. I'm too afraid of it. Yeah, I, I'm telling you, I'm going to have the wrench in my hand. I'm going to be sitting there like, all right, pop the top, pop the, uh, pop the top of it. Yeah. Mmm. <laughs> Looks like, yeah, that screw's loose in there. Yeah, kill the engine, man, kill the engine. Go, 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 go. All right, let me get in there. And I'm going to get in there. I'm going to put the wrench around the 
the nut or whatever, and I'm going to go, and I'm going to wake up in front of the pearly gates. It's going to be like, yeah, man, I'm good to go. Yeah, no, this looks good. I think this is correct. I'm awake. I'm, I, 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 I'm, something killed me. I just wake up at the pearly gates. And fucking Peter's going to be like, wow, man, you don't even know how to change a tire. <laughs> and he just fires me down to hell. I look over and I see over like the pearly gates. I see like all the mechanics. They're all sitting there and they're all like, yeah, <laughs> waving to me. It's just like a shitload of mechanics and like electricians. Dead because bad. Wait, but hold on. But doesn't being like Sekiro on stream means I get, I get to go to heaven? In that same logic. Hold on. Why are we tying? Hold on. Why am I tying like professional skill to you go to heaven? That doesn't make any sense. Oh, these guys were all car mechanics. If you're not a car mechanic, you go to fucking hell? What am I talking about? That doesn't make any sense. <laughs> this game must be pretty boring for you to talk about this. <laughs> Playing video games with a skill is not worthy of heaven. Hey! All dogs go to heaven. Some dogs go to hell. <laughs> Can you imagine that as a sequel? Oh, Disney present presents Some Dogs Go to Hell! Rated PG! He thinks he's so funny. No, I think that was funny. I don't think everything I say is funny. I think that was genuinely humorous. What happened to him? Okay. <laughs> okay. 10 to 20% gelatin, 80, 90%. Well, look, 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 Potion of helium? Is this Harry Potter? Oh, portion of helium. I'm going to do 80%. 80% water. Now gelatin. I'm going to get kicked out of this place. Dude, this is genuinely worse than the clock. How is this worse than the clock? I'm doing what it says I'm supposed to be doing. 80 to 90% water. That is, that is legitimately what we are looking at right now. This is legitimately, legitimately what we're looking at. He's definitely not sober. Yes, I am. Take it. Worst gamer moment. That, no, it was not. I, that's horseshit if you say that. Actual horseshit, don't say that. I, I tried it like five different ways. <laughs> S settle down, it's fine. Would you sell your soul for infinite money? No. There's only so much you can buy with money. Before it's just like, what the fuck else do you, what, what do you do now? You know what I mean? It's like, oh, dude, infinite money, infinite money. All right, so I could get a plane, a, a boat, and like five houses. Then it's not, what else? Okay, what else? Dude, you have infinite money. All right, but can, can I, can I just, like, should I rebuild? Okay, can I rebuild every school in America? Do I, can I spend it on other people? Because that might be worth it. If I sold my soul for infinite money, and I literally fixed every problem in the world, and then I would just be essentially the one that had to get sacrificed, I mean, that... I, all right. Do I get to have a cool life for like the next 40 or 50 years? I mean, if I had infinite money, I would, I don't know, I'd, I'd go all out. I'd go baller mode on myself, right? For like, okay, for like five years, you would not hear from me at all, ever. I would just disappear and do a bunch of crazy shit as like a billionaire. And then I would come back, and I'd fucking bed bags under my eyes, be like, all right, it's time to fix this shit. And I would rebuild every school in America. I'd make, I would, I would plant like fucking hundreds of miles worth of crops. I would redo our entire education system. I, okay, at that, at that point, I'm back and I'm ready to go. But you get, I get, I get a few years where I'm just gonna just fuck off and just, I don't know, live on an island and eat like coconuts and shit, and have like, have like five G internet on the island. Just give me, give me like five years for me just to like be a fucking nutcase, and then I'm back with like a golden suit and a golden top hat and a golden cane. Who am I kidding? I'd be dead. Are you serious? I would have, I'd be dead. Oh, dude, what would you do with the, with infinite money? <laughs> well, I would be, I would like bungee jump in a gold suit and weigh too much and snap the thing and die. <laughs> I mean, you know, I'm, you know, I'm being honest. You would just get assassinated. <laughs> but, but hold on. But what hap- Wait, but what about the money? Is it, okay, we got to clarify a few things here. Is it a genie scenario? Where I have to, I have to essentially be alive, right? Like it's me. 
And if I'm not around, I can't just like go like this and wave the gold cane around. So, so it's the devil. Is it the devil? Is it a genie? Is it a... How, how am I coming? What's my motivation? Give me some direction here. You get kidnapped. Yeah, but, but that's my point. Like, but do I... Listen, does the, do I have to be like, oh, great powerful sorcerer, I would like a hundred dollars to pay for my bar tab. Like, how does this work? We need some context. It's just a credit card with no limit and you don't ever have to pay it back. Okay, but do I have to swipe it or can somebody take my infinite credit card thing and use it? Because then, yeah, I, I am making it 24 hours. I, if, if, okay. Oh, breaking news. It seems that this man, Jeremy Albertson from Las Vegas, Nevada, uh, has in his possession crazy enough uh, the an infinite money credit card. Anyone who possesses this card can purchase anything in an infinite amount with no repercussions. You know, I would go to the grocery store and there'd be a, a million people waiting for me. No, yeah, no fucking way. No thanks. But if I really had infinite money, yeah, I would, I would just disappear. I'd go on a five-year bender. And that's not what you guys think it is. You know what I mean? That's getting wicked high on the couch for like a week or two straight sometimes watching like tool videos. Right? You know what I mean? It's not what you think it is. No, no, two like actual tool videos. You, you I'm not I'm not gonna be sitting there just high. Just like just being like I know the pieces fit because I watch I'm just sitting there like <laughs> put it on the loop. I'm talking well, I mean I would I may I may watch a few of those. What if someone offered you a McDonald's life pass, but to get it for one year, you have to eat McDonald's every day and nothing else? No. Why would I do that? That's not... Uh, that isn't... No thanks. How much is a McDonald's meal? Okay, if I had to eat three meals at, at McDonald's a day, that would be... What is a... What's like a number... What would number one or number two? 10? 15 bucks? All right, so let's just say it's $30 a day. So you're telling me... So you, this is effectively what you were saying. And this is why it's not worth it. So, thirty dollars a day turns into thirty times uh, seven, right? So that's two hundred and ten dollars a week times four. That's eight hundred and forty dollars a month times twelve. So you are giving me effectively ten thousand dollars to eat McDonald's every single day. No, that's not even close to being enough money. That's ten thousand dollars for a year's worth of McDonald's. No, you add two zeros to that. I ain't eating McDonald's every single day for a year for 10 grand worth of McDonald's. No way. Are you kidding me? Make that a, make that 10 million. Make that a million, then I'll do it. No, actually, I wouldn't. It's not, I wouldn't. I would not eat McDonald's every day for a year for a million dollars. You just die. Wasn't, okay, well, Super Size Me was like 30 days. Imagine if Super Size Me, he was like, yeah, I'm going to eat McDonald's three meals a day every single day for a year. I think he, I don't know if he, would he be alive? Who is he talking to? You! Of course! Who do you think I'm talking to? I wouldn't want to eat ice cream every day either. They're too much of a good thing kind of sucks. What would your what would your brand of ice cream be? Wait, if I had ice cream? Like a, an ice cream, uh... Oh, shit. What would my ice cream flavor be if I were to have an ice cream? Hmm. It would be... It would be a chocolate ice cream. And there would be gobs of cookie dough in... And I'm talking a smooth chocolate ice cream. Not this, like... Not like the kind of cocoa, dark kind of chocolate. No, 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 no. Smooth... Milk chocolate ice cream with marshmallow swirls, a sw a, a swirls of mar like a marshmallow fluff, like swirls in it, cookie dough and like cookie, like cookie crumbles, soft cookie crumbles. Wait, that's cookie dough. All right. Take out the cookie dough and add like soft cookie, chocolate chip cookie crumbles, soft, chewy and the graham crackers. And it would be called the fat fuck. <laughs> Wait, this, are, this exists. It's called cookie cobblestone. Oh, no, it already exists. Chocolate ice cream, cookie dough, marshmallow swirls, and crushed cookie pieces. What? How come they stole this from me? They must have made this like 10 minutes ago. They, they must have just made this. That looks damn good. Nice job, Eddies. Seriously. We, we connect on stuff, you and I. Eddies, you and I get it. I've actually had them before. I, you know, I love, uh, you know what my favorite ice what let's get you know ice cream tier list ice cream from the grocery store tealers <laughs> that word tier uh you know who i think makes the best in the grocery store ice cream blue bunny makes the best grocery store ice cream without a doubt it's by a mile i mean it's by a, it's by a fucking mile it's not even it's i'm not kidding it's not even close hold on 
don't even start. Yes, Ben and Jerry's does make the best ice cream, but Ben and Jerry's does not really have in the grocery store strawberry ice cream or just chocolate ice cream. It's like Jerry Lewis's Tonight Dough is a bunch of wacky shit, and it's amazing. But I'm talking just straight up chocolate ice cream or strawberry ice cream. Blue Bunny only makes novelties. No, they don't. I have, I literally have Blue Bunny chocolate ice cream, just chocolate in my freezer right now, and I eat it all the time. You have to, you're making me prove this. Why would I prove that an ice cream? Just go look it up. Type Google Blue Bunny chocolate ice cream. I don't have to prove it to you. You don't have it. I have it. Okay. I don't know why I have to prove this to everybody. Why does this matter? Why do you have to know this? Okay. Here. Blue bunny. Chocolate. Chocolate ice cream. It's just the standard blue bunny chocolate ice cream. It's delicious. It's perfect. It's smooth. It's pillowy. When, when you scoop it out, it makes this like... It's... It's fluffy, it's pillowy. I was anticipating to show you a smooth pillowy. This may have been in there for a while. This may have, hold on. Was the expiration? Fuck. I fucked it up. I fucked it up. I fucked it up. I fucked it up. <laughs> I fucked it up. No, it's not. It's freezer burn. I My freezer is fucked up. That's my fault. That's my fault for showing that to you. That is not fresh. That I had a freezer problem that I had to fuck up with my freezer settings. And that's what did that. My freezer's screwed up. I don't, where is it? I don't have a button anymore. Where the, where's my button? Shh, it's in my fucking pocket. God damn it. See, in that scenario, I do not tell anybody that. In that scenario, I drive all the way there. I walk into the warehouse. I put my hand in my pocket and I go, Oh my God, it's in my pocket. And then I text whoever is on out in the uh, in the field and I go, oh, yo, man, still looking for it. Did, one of, did you did you touch it? You might, I think you, I saw you have it for like 10 minutes and then they go, yeah, dude, I had it for 10 minutes. Oh, fuck. I'm still looking for it, man. I'll find it. And then I text the person again in five minutes. Selfie under a desk and with a thumbs up, like, got it. Like, this is where it was. I found it. And everyone's like, yeah! Oh, thank God, Jeremy, you saved the day. You saved, you saved the experiment. Let's go! What, land on the island? While well, trying to get points? Who is that? Why am I doing this? How do I slow down? We are going way too fast. That was fun. What are we doing next? Super Liminal sounds interesting. This is a tuber game. All right, this should be fun then. Reception is reality. Grab. What? I don't get it. Okay. I guess it's making... It's bigger? Okay. I feel like I won this at the fair, and it's a huge pain in the ass to get back to my hotel room. Oh, yeah, honey, you won me the big soda! And like, yeah, can we just donate this? Like, I, I don't want this. How are we going to bring this on the airplane? Well, we're going to check this. Ugh. Ugh. <laughs> I don't know if I can play this. What the fuck? What is that? What? Oh, it's an object. That's weird. All right. I can't. I, all right. Does this make me like a moron? Somebody explain this. Okay, tell me if this makes me a moron. This music is nice. I enjoy this, but I can't. I could never listen to this. I. It's like it's too high functioning for me. 
It's almost like I don't I don't like it. It doesn't make me it it's like too much for me. The this kind of music is almost like a instrumental telling a story, right? That's how a lot of uh like jazz and instrumental, right? It's like kind of telling a story without any lyrics. It's just a piano. The piano kind of tells the story. You guys know what I mean by that, right? You played the Hatsune Miku game on stream. But there's a huge difference between like bopey bopey bo bopey bo. I can just sit here and like, <laughs> yay! This is the kind of music that I could just, uh, you know, have like two fingers of whiskey. And just be like, yeah. Yeah, I, I, I'm smart like you. <laughs> like, clink it around and I, just go like this. Two fingers, yes, two fingers of whiskey, that's what they call it. Because the amount of fingers tall, the beverages. Hey, <laughs> I'll take four fingers of whiskey. It's like, whoa, dude, settle down. No, oh, two fingers. Settle down. You don't need four. Diet soda, gross. Baking soda. Green soda. I probably like that one. Red soda, probably. Water soda. No, no thanks. It's gross. It just tastes like just air. It's a, it's a weird like burp air. Do you, okay, do you, anybody here drink soda water? You ju it's just you're just drinking burp air. That's a, it's not, it's, I don't, it's, nobody drinks soda water, right? I don't even like the seltzers. Okay, every time I drink a seltzer, I take a sip. It's like, ooh, that's kind of nice. And then it, I get this weird, like, pop rocks kind of at the end. And it just tastes like fucking gross chemicals. No, none of them have ever, ever tasted good to me. I wish they would make soda that was 60% less sugar. String di no, I don't, I don't want diet soda. I just want less sugar soda. Diet soda is... Oh, we had it's, there's no sugar in it. It tastes like fucking chemicals and stuff. And it is it's got aspartame. No, no, no. I just want like 15 mil uh, 15 grams of sugar in my coke. I don't want to drink zero sugar diet soda. I just want less sugar. Just put sugar in your diet soda. No, because it already has that gross weird diet soda sweetener. Just drink water, dude. Just <laughs> Hold on. That's actually kind of a funny solution, but it's not accurate. Somebody said, just put water in your soda. So if I buy a 12 ounce, if I have a 12 ounce can of Coca-Cola and I dilute it by 50% with water, I mess up all the other ingredients. That's not going to work. There are flavorings and other stuff in Coke and Pepsi and whatever. That's not just sugar. You'd be diluting all the other stuff. I want the same syrup ratio, but I want 50% less sugar. What are you, a chemist? <laughs> if you love Hasuna Miku, wish her a happy birthday then. Of <laughs> doubt. Happy birthday, Miku! I feel like everything is from, going from me, Jeremy. I'm just waiting for the cleric beast sound that they use in all the Souls games. I'm I'm a very simple person. Um whatever I'm referencing the most on a given day, you better bet your ass that that's the thing that I've been consuming for the last week or two. So if for some reason you start getting a bunch of Breaking Bad references, I'm currently watching Breaking Bad. It's just everything lives up here for about 2 weeks and then goes away forever. Yeah, like Aaron I was watching Attack on Titan. Yeah. I think there's at one point when I was talking about having quirks from My Hero Academia. And I watched like, I, I think I watched like six episodes of that whole show. And I was just like, ah, never mind. That's six too many. I, this blood, wait, hold on. This blood on the ground in this fucking PG Disney game. This is, this, wait, the, the Disney didn't make this, but you know what I mean? Wait, what the hell is go? This is a scary game, is it? Is this a scary game? What the fuck happened? I thought this was a, a fun puzzle game. Is this a scary game? Oh, it was red paint. It was red paint all along, and that's the... Look at that. What does it say? Something. At least he's handsome. <laughs> I appreciate that. This is my good side, yeah. And some people say that. 
thumbnail photo. You know, I thought a long time ago it would be kind of funny if 10 years ago I took 30, 20 to 30 thumbnail photos and never stopped using them. And I used them still everywhere for everything. 10 plus years later, I look, wait, it's like, man, you look really young in those thumbnails. Take enough of them where they could have any context. Take some really specific ones that could only exist in Elden Ring, for instance. Like, look, I'm wearing a, oh, I'm wearing a crown or something. Or there's something very specific to, that could be used for Elden Ring. Like me with a Mario mustache on and a Mario costume and I play Mario and it's like, dude, you were fucking 25 when you took these pictures. Take some different ones. Only Elden Ring has crowns. I know, but you know what I mean, though. Just take like 300 photos. Incredibly specific shit. At least 200 of them would be very specific. Like me holding a Rubik's Cube, right? Just in case. Oh, great. Now I know what we're doing for the next hour. I know for a fact at least one person closed the stream because I went, ah, it's time for bed. I don't really want to see this shit. They, you, somebody just went, oh, he's going to do this. It's like, oh, it's kind of funny, but close the iPad, you know, whatever, put it down. Like that sound, and then they put it over and go to bed. Jeremy, check out this little indie game. It's called Disney Infinity 3.0. I, I would sooner show my asshole on stream than play Disney Infinity 3.0. If I think of like the, where that sits, you know what I mean? Like, it, I'm just being, I'm just telling you, that's where that sits. What the fuck? Why am I on the ground? What is happening? Um, is this supposed to be happening? This doesn't feel right. Wait, whoa, okay. All right, all right. Uh, that just freaked me out so bad. I was on the ground. I. What? Okay, that was that was weird. I thought it was sucking me around and pulling me backwards, but no. There's I. There's nothing. I have nothing to wrong. To, nothing bad to say about Disney Infinity 3.0. There's just not a single chance I would ever play that, ever, under any circumstance, any circumstance. It's just something I would never do, ever. I also would never show my asshole on stream, but. If uh, I'm making this sound like if I had a choice, you have to choose. Okay, is the is the show asshole stream 10 seconds long? Is it 10 seconds of show asshole versus how many hours of Disney Infinity 3.0? Okay, so it's 10 seconds. How long is the Disney Infinity stream? 10 hours? I would I'd show my asshole. <laughs> I would. I, I would. I just know I don't want to play Disney Infinity for 10 hours. Okay, but can I put a. Can I put a stipulation on the on the asshole stream? Could that be uh All right, Disney Infinity for 15 hours or I show my asshole, but I need I need a half a million dollars in donations before. <laughs> Of course, nothing is more challenging than the difficulty of changing perspective. Can you imagine the fucking articles? I'm just imagining a scenario where it's like, oh yeah, we're almost there. Four hundred and eighty thousand dollars. Wow, I can't believe it. Almost oh we ticked we did it! Five hundred! Five hundred I get up! Five hundred thousand! And I turn and would the strip I the strip would go off, right? Somebody would be there waiting. If I had a half a million dollar donation goal. The stream would turn off immediately when I turned it on. It would just do the disconnect thing, and then it would be like, this channel no longer exists. <laughs> there is no other incentive. There's not like, oh, at 10,000, I'm going to do this. At 50,000, nope. It's just this one goal. I don't want the afterlife to be like this. Every time people think of the afterlife, oh, heaven, oh my god, I'm moving on. They're floating as a specter. Oh, wow, look at it. So there's was mist everywhere and everything's misty and you're float. No, I don't want it to be like this. Don't worry, you're not going to heaven. I, I don't have to worry about it. So I'll be all right. Okay, like, close your eyes. This, oh, heaven, this is heaven. 
I would be, I would freak out after 20 minutes. If I was just floating around, just hearing this song, and if you know, if I opened my eyes and it was like, oh, there's like grandpa and like my great 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 grandfather, my great great wow, and we all floated around. I'd be like, well, this sucks. What 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 can we do? Can we do anything else but this? I don't like afterlife thoughts. That's weird to me because I don't know. We all know what this is like. So changing our plane of existence and reality drastically is, is too much. We know too much. We've experienced too many things. Just play the game. I'm stalling because I can't go up the stairs, man. Oh, I can't wait to hang out with my great, great, great grandfather. The guy that ran the cigarette factory. I don't want to hang out with that guy. I, do, I don't want to meet the caveman ancestor. They're all going to be there. I think we all think of like, oh, grandma and, and grandpa and like Uga and Uga Uga is going to be there. It's going to be everyone. It's going to be too many people. There's going to be like a trillion people up there. That's what that we fucked up. Everybody's caveman ancestors walking around. Every human that you've ever come from ever. You, your group is going to be the most, it's going to be the most annoying family reunion ever. Going around and shaking every one of their hands of like the 500 fucking people. You know when you go to an event and you're like, well, I can't wait to have the same conversation with this person and this person and this person and say goodbye a thousand times. That's what's going to happen. Except it's you, you, where you're going to go. Yeah, and what if Uga's a, a piece of shit? What if he's a dick? I don't want to hang out with him. I don't want to spend time with Uga. No, I don't want to go to hell either. Because guess what? You know there's going to be somebody there that's going to be like, yeah, yeah, it's my F. Fuck everything, man. I'm glad to be down here. It's like, I, I, I'm gonna, I don't want to be with the one, like, distant great, great, great uncle that went to hell and hang out with him every day. Oh, that's gonna be fun. Oh, r me? Like, drunk, great, 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 great uncle Frank and some random caveman that bashed in 50 people's skulls are the only ones that are gonna be down here. That would be a disaster. It'd be horrible. <laughs> Dark Uga. Ever come back. Man, I don't want to be on my best behavior in heaven every day. You know, if like grandma's around, like I have to, I have to, I gotta hang out with grandma all the time, and I gotta, I'm not gonna be like, oh fuck you, fuck this, and fuck you. No, I'm gonna be, I'm gonna have to like, mute it down a little. You don't talk to your grandparents like that. <laughs> I don't want to do that. But great, great, great drunk Uncle Frank and Dark Uga are gonna be doing coke every day. I don't want to do coke every day. I don't want to do coke. Yeah, and also, I know, I know people have made this reference before too, but I don't want to answer to my great, great, great grandfather, some some great man that created the first steel mill in America or whatever it is. He probably thinks I'm an idiot. He probably thinks I'm an asshole. He probably thinks I'm stupid. I'm the caveman to my great, 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 great grandfather. You could tell him he made half a million dollars selling ass baseballs and he'd be impressed. No, he wouldn't. He'd be like, what have you done? No, 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 see here. What, what have you done? It's like, uh, I don't, I don't want to talk about putting baseballs up my ass. There's no concept of time in heaven. I know, I, but it's, I don't, I like worldly stuff. You know what I mean? I don't want to be like a floating specter. I, I want to, I want to be able to watch Rick and Morty, okay? And it's like, oh, but will you be one with the cosmos? Okay, cool, but do I get to pull some levers and do some cool shit with planets? Can I make a planet or something? Like, do I get to do anything like that? It's going to be really hard to replace Rick and Morty. I mean, it's got to be good. I mean, like crafting planets and being a part of like the cosmos. I mean, is that as good as the, I, it's got a, it, will it even compare to Rick and Morty? What did you say? This is Mormonism? Is it? Wait, what do you mean? Wait, Mormons? Mormons that you, 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 you create planets? You get your own planet that you are the god of when you die. You and your, you and your first wife get a planet. That sounds fucking awesome. That's fucking sick. Wait, I just said a bad word. Is that bad? I don't think I can do it anymore. Oh well, I was a I was a Mormon for five seconds. <laughs> it doesn't work like that. But he said, "Hey, dude, it's, you can have my planet. Like when I'm gone, you can't just gift a planet. That's not how it works. You can't just give me your planet because you went through all the. You were a faithful person. That's not how it works. All you've got to do is wait."
was a good game. That was really good. That was a nice few hour experience. That was cool. I very much enjoyed that.